Hello. Yeah, we're in uh, Crankworks here in Whistler. Uh, I'm finished most of my racing now, so I'm uh, just going to take a few minutes to show you around my bike. So this is my Cube Stereo 150 29er. Yeah, 150mm rear travel, 170mm front. Perfect. And so you mentioned you're running a 29er and not 27.5. Any thoughts on, on why you made that call? Yeah, I've been on, I was one of the first, I think, to go 29. I've been on it for about three years now. Um, you know, Cube had a good bike for us pretty early on and I ran it. Um, yeah, I love it. I think I'm a bit of a taller rider and it suits my riding style. You know, I kind of like to be more smooth and not so many direction changes on the trail, which I think, yeah, it suits a 29 inch wheel. So since going 29, I've tried a 650 bike again. I just, I can't go back like this. For me now, this is a normal wheel. Yeah, so I'm running the Schwalbe Magic Mary 2.35 Addix Ultra Soft and the Super Gravity Compound. I usually run about 21 PSI in the front and 23 in the rear. And let's talk about this front end bus guard here, because this is a little bit more extravagant than you usually see on the trails here in Wilson. Uh, yeah, so that's the Rapid Racer Products Pro Guard. It's new this year. It's amazing. Like, I ran it all winter. This is actually the smaller one. They do a bigger one as well. Really? And yeah, like you can go through any puddle and water just doesn't get to your face. Although the race here was dry, there was still a couple of like river crossings and splashes that, uh, you know, can just dirty your goggles. Yeah. I think it looks cool too. It does look great. So this is the brand new XTR group set. Yeah, it's not released to the public. This is all prototype stuff. Yeah, I've been running it for a couple of months now and yeah, really impressed. Start with the brakes, they've changed them totally you know we've gone four piston on the calipers and then with the levers you've got these two contact points so it means normally that lever would flex around this which is normally here but now they've moved it in and given an extra contact point here which means when you're pulling the brake super hard the lever is totally stiff so any anything you feel is actually the brake you know contacting with the disc so you got these fins on here that uh, generate a bit of airflow to keep them cool. And you've got that on the caliper right. as well with the brake pads. Okay, and what size rotor do you have? Uh, 200 front and 180 rear. Yeah, we're in the race face next door. Uh, we're running them at 770 mil wide and 35 mil rise. Yeah, from the outside, it doesn't look like much, but then when you open it up, it's actually got loads of magic inside. It's, uh, yeah, full of tools. So in here you have tire lever. This is your chain breaker, which also has spoke keys on it. And then here you have all your tools as well. So you, all your normal Allen keys, you know, everything up to a six. And then you can use these two together, that's an eight mil. You've got a flathead screwdriver there. You can use these two together, like click them together like that, which will work as a split link opener, take your chain off. And then you've also got a little space there for your, uh, for an extra chain link. And then, yeah, in the bottom as well, you got this little storage compartment. So you can put some more stuff in there. Snacks. Or your, snacks, yeah, small snacks. Or you can get a CO2 cartridge in there as well. We've got an MTB strap on. This is a strap holding it in place, keeps it all tight and safe. You don't want to get stuck without a tube out on the trails, so yeah, I just carry that around all the time. Yeah, they're the new Saints. I think they came out last year. Um, yeah, I really liked a bit of a bigger platform and the pins on them. It kind of uh, gives you a nice secure feeling when you're riding clipped in, but then also if you dab a foot or make a mistake and you just throw your foot back on, you can kind of, you can still ride without being clipped in with these pins, so uh, kind of gives you that bit of extra security. So is this 11 speed? No, so yeah, that's, as I said, they've just released it, so it's now 12 speed. Yeah, I really like the gear, the gaps between each step. It's super, super smooth. I think that was the thing that impressed me the most, was just that when you're shifting, you, you don't really feel the chain actually being in between gears. It's just like instantly from one gear to the next. Thank you so much for taking the time to show us your bike. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, go left. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you? 
Hello. Yeah, we're in uh, Crankworks here in Whistler. Yeah, I'm finished most of my racing now.